Hello everyone, Larry Sashwell here with what I hope will be a quick little project. We have a lot of evaporation here in the south and I've got this pond I need to fill up about once a week or so, but I don't like filling it up with water out of the hose. First of all, it's chlorinated and you've got to put treatment in there. And second of all, it's a much different temperature. So I'm going to fill, make this little black barrel here a uh, water reservoir. I've always before just had it next to the pond and just poured it in, really ugly looking. But today I'm going to add this spigot to it at, at the bottom and hide it over here underneath this tree. Then I just need a short hose and I'll have water ready. This, uh, the chlorination has evaporated out of it and it'll be ready. You may have to do a little bit of digging. I went both to my Ace Hardware and to the big box store and I already own this, a little half inch water uh, turn on, I don't know what you call this. Anyway, spigot I think. And I first found this and then I had to make it fit onto here. So I've screwed this onto there really tight. I'm gonna use some all purpose cement here to cement these two together. My cement's getting a little bit on the old side, but I think it'll help. Uh, it'll work here. So that's going to go into that, into that. Compress all that down. Clean it out here with a little bit of a rag. That's what I've got here. I couldn't find an O-ring at the big box store, so I went to Ace. I did. This is you're going to find in the electrical um, place at the big box store, and it's just a little lock nut here that's going to go on this. Uh, I think this is a one inch adapter anyway, it worked for me. So once I have the hole drilled through my container, I'll put the O-ring on there and then the lock nut. I'll also cover this lock nut with um, some silicone. I've got, uh, uh, this is uh, GE's Kitchen and Bath Projects Advanced Silicone 100% waterproof, 30 minute water ready. I'm gonna give it a little bit more than that. Won't shrink or crack. I'll cover that with that because some of the fish don't like the reaction with the metal. I've got a hole saw that fits on here really tight. So the next thing I have to do is drill a hole in my container. Just going to drill it close to the bottom here. Really easy to do. I want to clean this really well so the silicone will adhere to it, both inside and out. I'll just put this in here loosely. Put the other O-ring on it. That'll actually help hold this on a little bit. Then I can get the retainer ring started. And once that's started, I can put a nice bead of the silicone all the way around it.
That's a nice feed on the outside. Now I'll dive in here and do it on the inside. Now holding it with my channel locks, I can just screw this in. I want to make sure I've got it up right. That looks pretty good. Now I'll dive back in there and put that silicone around that metal lock nut. You know, I'm tempted to clean this up a little bit, but I'm going to leave it just like it is. I think once you start messing with that stuff, it never gets right. I've got a piece of screen and the locking mechanism for the top here, so I'll put that over the top. This will keep the mosquitoes and the leaves out of this. And there it is. Concealed back in here. It's well hidden back here. And it looks a lot better than it used to. So all the thing, only thing I need to do now is to wait for that silicone to set up. And then I can add it full of water. 